in and have a seat. We'll get a few words in with you here. What have you been doing the all season here? What's, what kind of work you been up to? I'm um, doing a, some basketball things. Um, some some basketball keeping you busy too, then, right? Yes, Are you still? Is that still a consideration for you? Have you decided yet? Will it be football or basketball? I'm having decided yet. Decided yet? Still up in the air. Are they still about even? Uh, no, it's, yeah, it's you know, fairly uh, leaning towards football. Yeah. Do you think you have a chance maybe to go somewhere and play both? Is that yes, sir. It's um, a couple of schools that were. The one I saw it caught my attention on the Syracuse situation. Mm -hmm. Syracuse had sent that video out with uh, Hendon Hooker on there. Your basketball and football work both. How about the uh, work with Syracuse? Those guys are running pretty well. Yes, sir. They are at the top of my list, actually. Syracuse is number so, one right now. Um, I'm going to try to take a visit and um, see how the stadium and the coaches are and the. Uh, how they run their offense also. So I'm going to do some research yeah. on a new school that is top of my list. It should be good because they're in the ACC, so that gives you a possibility there. Yes, sir. And they talked about football, basketball both? Yes, sir. Wow. You got it. That's a, that's a great situation to be in. I guarantee you're well blessed to be in that situation. What are your goals for the team for this year? Just take over and not look back, just go straight down the field, keep it going? It is. That, um, that uh, we're trying to win a championship. That's the, that's the main goal. And um, undefeated season. Hey, the play I remember last year, I don't know what game it was in, you were rolling left, and man, you, just a beautiful little roll out to your left side, hit that pass up field, I'm not sure you threw that ball too, but your ability to roll and break out of the pocket when you're pressured, I think is one of your be best assets, one of your best uh, attributes as far as your game goes. Yes, sir. That keeps you on the move, keeps you moving as well. What have you been doing uh, training-wise through this all season? Um, a lot of shoulder work. And uh, Coach Mack is doing, us, uh, doing a lot of Olympic lifts. So um, we're doing a lot of power clean, uh, hang clean. And um, we always do bench press. You know, that's a big, big, um, big lift on the board. And uh, a lot of squats. Yeah. And have you been to some combines and other places besides uh, the I've school business? I've been to the Nike opening combine to, um, for the Nike the finals that's in Oregon. Mm -hmm. in Oregon. You made a trip out there? No, sir. Um, the regional, I was the regional one in Charlotte. Okay, okay. And uh, what you and Emmanuel visited a few schools together too, right? No, sir. I went. No, you and. Uh, me and Gatman. Yeah, yeah Simeon. Simeon. I also met Emmanuel Mosley too mm -hmm. far ahead. But you and Simeon visited yes, a few schools together. We went to Florida State and Georgia and Virginia Tech. And those schools in Robert Syracuse, you say right now, might be the favorite son right now as far as that goes. Yes, sir. How's your dad doing these days, Mr. Allen Hooker? He's doing he's doing good. He should be here tomorrow to come to the Midnight Madness. Oh, yeah. Excited about that, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What will you be doing in that practice tomorrow? Coach Davis let you guys do a thing about what's going on tomorrow night? Um, he told us we're going to do a little seven-on-seven, -on -seven, um, some one-on-ones for the linemen, and um, just give the crowd a show. Mm -hmm. When do you guys put the pads on? Is that about the middle of next week? Yes, sir. I do. And you got a big, uh, heard you got a big scrimmage coming up too later on. Yes, sir. The 12th, August the 12th, mm -hmm. at Parkland, 6 o'clock. And then you got a big one over at Dudley too, I guess. Several teams yes, coming up for that one. Yeah. Some good competition there. Should be. Who do you think's the favorite? I talked to Simeon about this. Is the favorite in the Metro this year, other than Dudley, going to be Paige? Is that the team that's going to be coming after you guys? Yes, sir. They, they are high power. They have. A lot of talent on that team, and they work really hard. How hard have you been working? You had to, had to Ex extremely hard. Coach Davis, Coach Davis puts that go get attitude into the whole team, so it just drives me even further to working harder. Do you feel like you've improved uh, yes, sir, your overall body and game since last year? Yes, sir. I feel like I look back and look at film and um, try to tweak my footwork here and there and uh, my ball placement, and just become stronger. Under the uh, old Emmanuel Mosley game plan, do you see yourself running the ball some this year too? Yes, sir, running? I, do. I feel like I've gotten faster. My legs are stronger. Um, just body feels great. Who are your favorite receivers? Uh, probably Demodis Gilmore. He's a newcomer oh, this year. Yeah, basketball, basketball man. Yes, yes sir. sir. So Gilmore's out there now. Yes, sir. Okay. He has he has fantastic hands and great vision to go up and catch the ball. And uh, also Preston Boyd, who's returning, and Jaden Maynard, a little slot back. Yeah. And also my running back, Connell Young. Looking forward to a great season, I'm sure. Yes, what sir. are your goals going in? I know you want to win the state title. What are the overall goals, though, again? Um, probably pass and rush for over 1,500. Mm -hmm. 1,500 both sides? Yes, sir. 1,500 rushing, 1,500 passing? Yes, sir. That's kind of the old uh, Jamel Mack plan, High Point <laughs> Central man. Yeah. Yes, you'll do well. I know you'll do well. Uh, so the main thing is be ready for the start of practice tomorrow, Midnight Madness, and next week you guys put on the full gear. Got a couple of scrimmages coming. It's going to go fast, though, right? Yes, sir. It is moving really fast. How'd the 7-on-7s seven go? Uh, they went pretty smooth. 
uh, we went to the NC State um, 707 competition and came up in the semifinals and lost by two. Mm -hmm. Who did you lose to? You remember? Uh, I do not remember. Yeah, I know there were several good teams down right about that at the WRL website. Yeah, some of the teams from around Raleigh were down. Mm -hmm. I guess that one. Though. Well, listen, I don't want to keep you too long tonight. We're just kind of breaking the surface, kind of scratching the surface. And again, Hendon Hooker with us from Dudley High School, the Panthers quarterback. Man, I don't even want to talk about last year. I know you guys are trying to get over that and keep moving forward, kind of put that behind you, kind of, kind of level that out. But again, this year the goal is to win every game and get that state championship. Yes, sir. And you feel like conference-wise, Paige would be the toughest competition. Yes, How about sir. outside the conference? Any non-conference games that you're looking at closely? Uh, probably Hillside is yeah. always a big contender. Oh, yeah. In the state playoffs. Gotcha. So that'll be a tough game. And. I'm not really – Probably the first game against Carver will be Carver, tough. That's Just, always an exciting game to see what we have yeah. and uh, how the team will jail from the, from the jump. Listen, let me let you do the jump. Thank you for your time as always. Always good to see Hen and Hooker keep up the good work. And we will get Kano Young up next and get our Dudley man in at Shane's Rivers.